question gives us an equation. 4 uh, moles of ammonia plus 7 moles of oxygen are uh, combining to form 4 moles of nitrogen dioxide, 6 moles of water. And it then asks us which of the following below of this multiple choice selection is not a valid expression for the uh, <coughs> relative rate law for this. So as I discussed in an earlier lecture, <coughs> relative rate uh, equation for each of, uh, or for this reactant is going to be a negative for all of the reactants because they're disappearing as the products are appearing. One over the coefficient, which is four times delta change, or the change in concentration of ammonia over delta T. It's going to be equal to negative one over the coefficient, seven, multiplied by the change in concentration of oxygen over delta T. <clears throat> which is also, and all of these are going to be equal to 1 over, so positive 1, because I'm talking about a product now, over the coefficient 4 times uh, the change in concentration of NO2 uh, over delta T, which is going to be equal to 1 over the coefficient 6 times the change in concentration of water over delta T. This is the relative rate equation or expression for uh, each of the components in uh, this uh, chemical reaction, and each of them is equal to each other. So... It then asks us which of the following of this multiple choice selection is um, not a correct expression. It turns out, as you look closely at this, that every single one of these components is one of the options. So the only option that is the correct answer is E, which says all of the above are valid expressions of the reaction rate.